The Final Wish, directed by Timothy Woodward Jr. Um, and written by Jeffrey Reddick, William Hoffman, and Jonathan Doyle. I'm trying to make sure I get all these damn names right because it's not remembering these names due to all the crazy shit that be going around me daily. But uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about the film, The Final Wish. Um, this film will mess your head up if you're someone that's definitely focused on a film like this because this is not your typical film where you watch it and then you think that you get it. No, you, it really requires your attention. I mean, it sits you down on the couch and say, look at me, look me in my eyes and tell me what you see. That's the type of movie this is. And it's really good. Um, the movie is about this guy named Aaron that's uh he's 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 trying to be a you know trying to get into the lawyer firm and 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 that's not really working out for him too well until he gets a messed up phone call and the phone call was about his dad dying so not only did that situation happen he ends up traveling out to this town to visit his mom and let me tell you lynn shay is off the hook in this film every time this woman play in any of these films i've done a lot of films based on her being in them and let me tell you her performance is never a dull performance that you get out this woman but she absolutely brings that a game but then you also feel sorry for aaron as he's going through this situation as well i mean he's in the town everybody seems to just be pissed off with him i mean down to the ex-girlfriend the mom the friend i mean everything is crazy in this film but then as you go to the film the film starts to get a little weird why he's there too you definitely can tell something sinister is hovering around um this situation in his life and at the same time is, is a mysterious death of his dad and a lot of other things that's going on what i have to say about this film this film is very biblical um if you pretty much understand the things that this film is mentioning like um the jinn the ancient ones the demonic spirits that uh pretty much haunts our life to this day which some people just don't pay attention to it but it is true just because you ignore the shit doesn't mean it ain't there it's always there that's why we need to pray to jesus and 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 get him to claim our soul before something else come and stick a fork up your ass and claim yours before i get any further than that let's get this movie a rating shall we i give this movie a thumb up and a big ass smiley face oh yeah Another thing I enjoyed about the film is I like how the film teaches you as the viewer how all your choices have an effect on everything and everyone. Meaning that every choice that Aaron made had an effect on everyone around him without him even knowing it because he was so busy trying to be a lawyer that he wasn't understanding how important he was to everyone in that town. So he got back. And let me tell you, it, the twist in this film, whoa mess your head up but then you clearly understand how decisions will make or break you no way shape or form but the movie is really good i absolutely enjoy this movie and tony todd in this movie as well it's always good to see him don't forget to follow him on instagram and stuff that man is really cool he always been cool ever since candy man he's still cool to this day i love him in final destination as well but really good film the final wish definitely check this movie out as it's available right now on amazon and voodoo and youtube and I think uh, VOD. Don't quote me on that because I saw it on Amazon. I'm glad I rented the film. film is really good. It's definitely worth checking out for this weekend. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the final wish because I told you what I thought about it. If you make a damn wish, you got to be careful. Seven wishes. Your soul will be claimed, so just don't make no damn wishes at all. If you guys remember the movie Wish Upon, um, this movie kind of put you in that format with that, but Sefa is done with a more respectful, um, driven tone towards real situations. Now, the Wish Upon situation, that was something different, but then they had this like really weird, mysterious thing on there with like demon horns and shit, and then when you make wishes, it would just ruin your life and claim your soul. So don't do it. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary because I got a lot of fucking work to do this weekend. That's why I'm just so like out of my damn mind. It's a lot to do and we're nowhere near done. I love you.